Still some active areas of rain, storms and rain showers are going to be with us at this point this evening south of Toledo and to the east. For the most part here in the Toledo Metro, the storms have already rolled through. We captured this in the moments uh, leading up to our early to mid afternoon hours. A look at the time lapse, the darker clouds coming in from the south and west and you're going to see a sheet of rain roll right across the Toledo Metro. That time lapse sped up uh, to uh, depict how heavy that rain was briefly as it came through the Toledo Metro and then on the back side of that system. The skies have begun to clear just to touch, uh, revealing what is going to be a less humid feeling evening ahead. Did get a few reports of storm damage. Nothing that's been major. Did have some uh, tree damage in Point Place and also some power lines that were down toward uh, Henry County near Florida and over into uh, Define. Several power lines that were reported uh, that were snapped at one point as gusty winds came into the area. Not widespread severe weather. We've got heavier rain that is occurring right now across the southern edge of the viewing area. This is along Route 30. Uh, there's Arlington, Genera, Bluffton down toward Ada, back over toward Columbus Grove. About 10 lightning strikes in the past 10 minutes and an area of rain that's drifting north of Miller City and Lipsick across Putnam County and some showers that are non severe. Fostoria to West Mill Grove over toward Bettsville and up toward our Lake Shore, Catawba Island, Port Clinton still raining with storms now working over Lake Erie. Temperature wise, we are back in the low to mid 70s for most areas. Humidity levels give it a little bit. They're going to be dropping to a more crisp feel as we go overnight tonight and into the day tomorrow. We could thank this cold front for taking that humidity out of the picture. Also going to be ending our storm threat between now and about sundown and by 11 p.m. I expect the entire area will be dry. One little brief chance of a shower toward early morning on Thursday. Then most of the day is going to be partly to mostly sunny, dry conditions and a beautiful feeling afternoon. Highs of the upper 70s and dry conditions Thursday night and just a sprinkle or two on Friday. A little more in terms of cloud cover. Just a passing brief sprinkle Friday but much cooler. Brief showers tonight turning less humid. We're going to fall back to 62 degrees. Highs on Thursday will reach into the upper 70s. Noticeably less humid. A brief morning sprinkle turning partly sunny into the afternoon and winds at times will gust up to 30 miles per hour Thursday. Just a sprinkle or two on Friday. Lower 70s. That is going to be a cool feeling day. Mid 70s on Saturday. Chance of storms does look to be increasing Saturday evening into Saturday night. Highs in the mid 70s Sunday and into Monday and then dry weather and highs into the 80s. 80s much of next week could even reach the upper 80s by the end of the 10 day forecast. Jeff.